Okay, I want to ask this again. Sure. So you do not think that white America is the culprit? No, sir. Is that Cameroon? Yeah. So what part are you not understanding? Uh, I don't think that white Americans are responsible for the position of black Americans. Okay, okay. Hey, bring that camera closer. Bring that camera closer. If I'm black and I don't like you because you're white, I don't like you because of my history of white people and because of my ancestors. Like, this shit isn't our I don't, don't think that's like true. That is true. We don't like white people because of how they treated us. Like, because of what we see in the history books. Every time you open a history book and there's a black person in it, there's always something about what a white person did to them. That's all we see. What's your name, sir? My name is Jarrell. Jarrell, nice to meet you. My name is John. Of course, the sign says America is not racist. Changed my mind. We're here for Black History Month. Just trying to have conversations. We spoke a little bit before we were recording. My position is essentially that America in its modern state is not racist uh, as a people, as an institution. Uh, any of the metrics by which you would try to measure that, I don't think it exists. And if it does exist, I would argue that it's actually racist systematically against white people. I think we see this in basically every institution, whether at a governmental level, uh, in academia. We see this in all sorts of different NGOs. And even as a people, I think that anti-white sentiment is very common now and it's sort of written off as nothing too serious. Um, I think it's even promoted in a lot of aspects. So I'm open to having my mind change. I know you are as well. So I'd just be curious to get your thoughts on my position and your position as well. Okay. So one, I don't really think my, my mind is going to be changed. And two, I have to let you understand that you do think that racism is affecting white people now, but literally you're standing on the biggest HBCU, the, well, the biggest public HBCU, North Carolina a and and I feel like you failed to realize that this is an HBCU, and the HBCU was actually created in order for black people that was seeking education in order to have a safe environment where they don't have to worry about racism, where they don't have to worry about their skin complexion, where they don't have to worry about if their hairstyle is suited as unprofessional or not. And I don't understand how you say that a lot of stuff is targeted towards white people when you guys made up these rules. You guys wrote the Constitution. Y'all didn't even include us. Y'all didn't see us as people when we first started off. And now we are here at a HBCU having this debate. I agree with a lot of that, but I mean, the Constitution was written in the 18th century. This school was probably established in the 19th century. So this was. 1991 to be exact. So this was hundreds of years ago. I don't understand how that would translate to now contemporary America. I fully acknowledge that those things happened in the past, but in terms of what is affecting black America now versus white America, I don't think that uh, white America is the culprit. So you don't think that white America is the culprit? Correct. Okay, I want to ask this again. Sure. So, you do not think that white America is the culprit? No, sir. Is that Cameroon? Yeah. So, what part are you not understanding? Uh, I don't think that white Americans are responsible for the position of black Americans. Okay, okay. Hey, bring that camera closer. Bring that camera closer. Look. Okay, look, listen. He's saying system, he's saying institutionalized. I have to disagree 100%. HBCUs were created to help, I mean, to fight against racism inside of classrooms. Uh, if you want to talk about modern day, in 2012, I have to say 21% of people were more, 21% of African Americans were more likely to be shot by the cop just because of the whole Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman case. So, your idea of that racism does not exist now when I can really get pulled over by a cop right now. I go for my license and I just get shot and the only thing that they can say was, oh, I thought it was just a weapon. And all they get is a smack on the wrist and go on about your day. Mm -hmm. But if you was in that situation and you pulled out your ID and you got shot, they're doing a whole investigation and, my, and more than likely, he's probably gonna lose his job and he's gonna be serving time in jail. Mm -hmm. What was that? This dude needs a wellness check, bro. Everything about what I just saw was messed up. He crawls on the table, then proceeds to stumble his way into the most incoherent talking points. The level of just brainwashing that these people are under. He, he really believes that it's as simple as, oh, you're a black guy and you're just more likely to get killed by the cops because you're black. It's your skin color because the cops is gonna be that stupid and be like, yep, you're black, gotta go. 
Like that's how the world works. And the strange behavior, like you're crawling on a table, you're standing up, you can't even contain yourself to absorb information you disagree with. What's interesting about that, that's sort of anecdotal, is when you get into like the actual statistics on like by and large, what we see is that if you control for the likelihood of being arrested and also the crimes that they're being accused of, black Americans are not actually shot more likely than white Americans. And what's even interesting is if you look at the data for people who try to assault a police officer while they're being arrested, black Americans are actually 40% less likely to be shot under those circumstances. So I don't think that's true. And also, if it is the fault of white people, why are black officers more likely to shoot black suspects than white officers are? Hispanics are also less likely to shoot black suspects than uh, black officers are. So I don't think that you can point the finger and say this is because of white people, when even when those things do happen, the black officers are the ones pulling the trigger. Okay, one, I will not deny that that happens, but two, I need to see the statistics before I just go off of what you have to say. So if you have a reliable source about the statistics, I yeah. will gladly shut up about that. But with that going forward, it's hard to it's hard to sit here and be like, oh, white people are hated on when you guys made the rules. So you didn't know the statistics? You just had a belief? Again, brainwashing. And okay, let's agree that white people did make the rules. They can't change. They just, they're forever stuck. That's where they're at forever. What was founded? No, 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 not here, not in school. I'm talking about everything like history, uh, 18 what? When, no, 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 when was the constitution written? 1787. 1787, so it's 2023, and a lot of those laws are still being used to this day. So can you, can you also say, so we can agree that modern, that history is affecting the present. Do you agree or do you disagree? I or agree. Or do you want me to go into more detail about that? I agree. I think that, if you don't mind, um, the con I mean, one of the most famous lines in the Constitution is this idea that all men are created equal, and our Supreme Court has solidified that with things like the Civil Rights Act to make that literally the law of the land. So there is no case now in contemporary America where black Americans are discriminated against at an institutional level compared to white Americans or any other wait, types wait, wait, of wait, Americans. Wait, did you say at, you say at an institutional level? Yeah. At an institutional level. Yes, sir. So you seem to keep wanting to pivot back to, you know, the founding of America, maybe being well, no, written no, no, such. I'm not trying what to, about I'm now? I'm not trying to pivot. I'm not trying to pivot. I'm trying to let you understand that stuff from the past tends to affect the future. How does it affect? A lot of black people can get rejected at a job just for a hairstyle. Mm -hmm. For me right now, I have, I have twist. I can show up to a job right now and I can get denied. Mm -hmm. Although I can meet every single requirement that they had and some. Yeah, yeah. Just off of a hairstyle. Crown rule. I mean, the Crown Act. Please look it up. You have to understand that a lot of stuff does stem from racism. When equally qualified applicants apply to a school, black applicants are 20 times more likely to be accepted than equally qualified white students. Asians get a little bit uh, ticked down, I think five or 6% less likely, simply because of things like affirmative action and this idea of progress that we've been trying to uh, actualize throughout society. Um, and I, so I don't think it can be simply ascribed to black students aren't going to college because of racism. I think it's simply because of choices that are made within the black community that don't tend to result in that as an outcome. And what, what kind of things are you talking about when you refer to uh, the black community? Uh, I think that if you look at the data, black students don't spend as much time doing homework when they're in school. Uh, they're not I as likely see that. to. I, I really want to. Hey, does anybody got a phone that can pull up this? How are you so incapable of hearing information and processing it calmly? What is happening? What? <laughs> Like, why do you have so many triggers? Classic sign of brainwashing. This guy's statistics, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Can anybody pull up this guy's statistics? We'll put it on screen, because if I say something wrong, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get eaten alive. Uh, I, will, I will fix this. So, no, 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 just let it ride. Just let it ride. We don't need to be having that up anyway. So, uh, that is true though. And in terms of time outside of school uh, spent doing homework, black people are much less likely to spend time doing homework than white students are. And so I think that that can translate to perhaps a, a, a lesser inclination to pursue higher education. I think that if a black student wants to go to college, College, they have every opportunity to do so and even people are willing to give them advantages to pursuing that I think it's simply a matter of them not wanting to pursue it for whatever reason well one you have to understand this I have to in order for me to keep on going off of these conversations I would love to see the statistics mm -hmm. that's just me going forward 
But at the same time, I can't comment on that. I can't comment on the the studying situation because I don't know if that's true or not for me to yeah. even react. But if you're talking about the mistakes, I mean, if you're talking about uh, how white people tend to get rejected more, you got to look at the way the economy is set up now. Majority of white people are oversaturating each profession mm -hmm. from STEM majors, from, well, engineering, doctors. We need black people in those fields. The stats are the stats. Black people are not studying as much as other groups. That's just what it is, man. Like, you, you can agree or disagree with it. I think you know if you just take a look at the real world. So by his logic, we just need black people. Nothing, no, no word of merit, no word of worthiness, no word of skill, nothing about earning it. They just need to be represented in these spaces. Someone who's going to do brain surgery, the first thing I want to know is they got selected because they were black. That's what I want to know. These people are so lost and brainwashed. You would really take that risk. You would, re you would really take that risk where when your life is on the line, the thing you care about most is the personal characteristics of the individuals tasked to save your life. Wouldn't you rather just have a good doctor? Why does it necessarily have to be a doctor that looks like you if you think they're gonna be able to relate better to you? Why not just have the best doctor and if they happen to look like you, it is what it is. Why does that have to be a necessity to provide you better medical care? Oh, he was reading stats. Can you repeat the question again? Uh, yeah, the first question is, how can you argue that we are discouraging uh, minority doctors when to get into a high-level medical school, black applicants are allowed to have significantly lower MCAT scores than our white applicants or Asian applicants? It's understanding. Huh? It's the understanding. It's kind of like that. Yeah. A what? It's the understanding. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, of course, they medically know everything, but from an understanding point, that's important. Yeah, okay. So from 2013 to 2016 in the United States, you can see by the MCAT score and by race, it goes up as you get uh, darker complexion, I guess you would say. Wait, 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 where is that? Okay. Medical schools, acceptance rates by MCAT scores, GPA, race, and ethnicity. So, 24 so to 26. across all, I guess, uh, score breakdowns, whether it's their grade point average or their MCAT score, black applicants are significantly more likely to be accepted when they have lower scores, when they have medium scores, and when they have high scores especially. So I don't understand how you could know that and then argue that there is a, dis um, a disadvantage for black applicants pursuing uh, medicine or, or medical school or anything like that. Oh, no, 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 I'm just... I'm it's not know, about the yeah. stats? I know, like, y'all looking at the yeah. stat point of view, but... Oh, oh, no. It's not about the stats. Of course it's not. When the stats don't serve you, it's not about the stats anymore. It's about something else. It's about understanding, right? No, he just had me down. He just had me down. Oh. I'm not, this is not my table. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm just saying, um, I, I understand you're looking at the stats mm -hmm. point of view and how like there are higher levels within my, the stats. Would you mind stats? handing me that actually? Your coffee? Yeah, thanks man. Um, but it's more of being black. Like, it's true. Being black in America is hard. And it's, we have to work harder to be seen as, or be close to equivalent mm -hmm. to our white counterparts. They've attached themselves to this belief that it's hard as a black person and difficult to live and exist. The world is out to get you. These people are in a cult. There's nothing else that can explain this level of brainwashing. The same incoherent talking points that they all can so comfortably recite proves they're in a cult.